Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to take a quick look and it will be a very quick look because it's a very straightforward block and we're going to look at the pulse format. Now this serves one purpose and one purpose alone. What it will do is it will turn any redstone signal that you pass into it into a very short pulse. So as you can see if I apply redstone signal to the pulse former what it's going to do is it's going to send a pulse down to that lamp and light it up briefly. There you go. So even if I leave it on, we've got a redstone signal, it only pulsed very, very briefly. And that's what it does. Now if you remember the state cell that we looked at yesterday, it needs a very, very short pulse in order to function properly uh, to keep the times that you need it to, to be doing and this is the block that helps you do that. Now the recipe for this guy is fairly simple as far as logic components goes these are the basic components you've got cathodes, anodes, stone wires and just a plain wafer there as well giving you your, your pulse former and that is pretty much the pulse former for you. Now I have set up a, a small demonstration circuit because I knew this was going to be a very quick one today and this is fairly similar to a lot of the circuits I use for for instance um, frame doors and things like that it's when you want to send a specified number of pulses to a timer so what we have here is we have a timer which is being held in place by a knock gate which is going to be turned off by this state cell when it receives a a pulse as you remember the pulse is going to hold a signal down this line here which is going to turn off the knock gate which is going to allow this timer to turn and then when this state cell runs out it's going to send a pulse out this side which we're not going to use at the moment and that will stop put the knock gate back into this position which will then turn off the timer and I have this state cell set to 2.4 seconds and this timer set to 0 0.8 so what should happen is that timer should pulse three times and there we go pulses three times and then turns off and that would for instance lower or raise a frame door in one go and that there is basically how you would put all of the, these components that we've already looked at together into one small circuit uh, obviously you can modify this and make it either smaller or bigger and more complicated um, you may find that you need to place them in a slightly different arrangement because these will naturally go into an L shape so you may need to use strips and stuff to get it pointing in the direction that you want it to but otherwise there's the pulse former thanks for watching let me know anything I've missed out below anything you'd like to see in future and Make sure you hit out on my uh, Twitter and my Twitch page and I'll see you next time.